Coach, congrats on the big win on Saturday. Let's kind of talk about how big of a boost mentally, physically, standing-wise that was for you guys, especially after Wednesday. Yeah, absolutely. It was big. We're not going to try to downplay it by any means. We had a great crowd. Um, there was a lot riding on it um, on the game for both teams, quite frankly, in different directions. Santa Barbara needed one win to clinch a, a, a part of the championship, the regular season championship. Um, we needed a win to get into the tournament and to secure one of our goals of having at least six wins at home. So there was a lot riding on the game for both teams. I know you guys always preach take one game at a time. Well, here we are, one regular season game left with a lot of questions still unanswered as far as standings and, and seedings and whatnot. Just kind of talk about the the team's mentality headed into this final game. Well, you know, after Saturday night, we met with the team and, and really wasn't a lot of I mean, you hear it all the time, right? We're going to celebrate this for the for the for what it is and for the day, and then kind of get back to work the next day. We gave the guys off today, so we really haven't met with them. We'll meet with them again tomorrow and, and cover everything. But um, it really is about the next game, and we control our own destiny. We win one more, we we'll finish eight and eight, and where we finish in the conference after that really depends on how the other teams do, quite frankly. So uh, we're in, and that was one of our main goals. So we'll be playing again next week. Hey, Coach, looking at the numbers, uh, I wanted to ask uh, Co Coach Calero this after the game, but I didn't. Uh, just looking at the numbers, 31% um, you shot, 25% from the three-point line. Um, basically, how did you win the game on Saturday? <laughs> we torched them up, didn't we? Um, you know, our defense, quite frankly, where in the past in games, teams have actually had big second halves against us. Um, I think the game against Fullerton, they shot 52% in the second half, and we lost it. Uh, I think we were up at halftime in that game and come back and, and lose it in the second half. And, and Saturday night we were, up, we were down six and came back and found a way. And, and really I think our defense stepped up in the second half. We, it, it wasn't an offensive explosion by any means. Um, but you know, we held them to 57 points, and I think that really is what preserved the victory. And looking at the offense, I mean, you probably would agree what, like you said, I mean, offensively the team wasn't particularly strong. But knowing that you still won that game, how encouraging is it that – you were to win a game maybe on an off night, certainly an off night offensively against the number one team in the league. You know, and, and you've talked to Coach all year, and we've tinkered with the lineups from here and there, and that's one thing, a credit to our guys. You know, guys don't hang their head or this, that, and the other. I, I truly believe um, we're all out there for the, the same purpose here, to, to win games and to keep improving. And for that game, we did change our lineup by starting uh, Jordan and David at the four and five, if you will, by, and, and having Will Taylor come off the bench. And the whole reasoning for that was just to try to extend the court, be able to put five guys on the perimeter against their matchup defense to where they always try to keep their five man, their, their big guy inside. So um, it worked out from the standpoint that we were able to spread them out. We didn't shoot great, but we did get 18 offensive rebounds and, and a lot of extra second chances. Uh, 35 three-point attempts in the game, you know, 17 first half, 18 second half, um, only nine makes. Se second half, I, I mean, there weren't, there was not very many two-point opportunities. I mean, it seemed like every time down the, the court you guys were, you know, shooting at a three. Was that by design or was that just how it, it turned out? I mean, how concerned are you that the team was shooting so many threes and luckily you were able to get the win on Saturday, but you know, in the future looking at it. Yeah, you know, in the future we're definitely gonna have to establish inside a little bit. But going into that game we really did we told our guys, let's let it fly. I mean if you're open, we gotta jump up and knock it down. I think if you look statistically, teams only shoot about twenty nine percent from the from the three point line against Santa Barbara. They do a really good job of contesting shots. So we said if you're open if it's the right shot for us, the first one, we gotta take it. Um, and like you said, two-point opportunities, they don't give you a lot of real good opportunities to score inside against their size. So we had to kind of pick our poison. It was let's, let's r let it rip and shoot them. And, and it's a, you know, that can work good and bad. The second half, though, we did say that because uh, I think we got into the bonus uh, where we were shooting free throws and we felt like we need to be a little bit more aggressive, at least off the drive, and uh, maybe get them to foul us so we can get to the foul line that way. You guys have had so many games come down to the last second, you know, especially here at home. Uh, that, that, and you've had them go both ways, win, win and loss. Um, you look at it in terms of experience that, you, that you've gained with those, those uh, pressure pack moments. Do you like that, knowing that you've had all this experience, pressured situations um, going into a, a big West tournament? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I think the game that really maybe put us over the, par uh, over the top where we felt like we could really come back 
close game, find a way to win. It was the Riverside game at Riverside, you know, to win in, in two overtimes and um, quite have a chance to win it in regulation, not, you know, battle overtime, second overtime, and get a great road victory shows that we have the ability to do that. But we also showed that uh, we can stumble as well and, and lose one in the end. So I think it's a, it's a great teaching tool, especially for a young team and new staff and new program, so to speak. Uh, but we're all excited to get to the Big West Tournament, no question. And before you do, you get the game with, with Irvine. How important is it that game just, you know, it would even up the mark in, the, in, in Big West at 8-8 eight and eight and uh, create some positive momentum going into the tournament. Just how important is it to, to you know, wrap up the regular season Saturday with, the, with a good performance? It's a very, very important game. I mean, at, if we win that game, we're 8-8, eight and eight and you know, we either can outright have a, uh, a fourth-place finish um, after being predicted to finish ninth or at least a share of that. And then, again, like we talked about earlier, depending on how the rest of the league shakes out, whether we can get a first-round bye or – go in as a fifth, sixth, whatever seed, but um, it, it's a really important game for us. Senior night and everything else, so. Hey, Coach. Hi. Uh, talking about uh, Irvine this Saturday, um, how does that affect you not having the game until Saturday, having a full week to prepare? I think it's actually a great time. Um, we give our guys, like I mentioned, a, the day off, get caught up mm -hmm. academically, rest their bodies. We'll come back tomorrow, Tuesday, and, and get a good sweat and some shooting, and then have three full uh, good days to prepare for Irvine. I think it's really good. I think we're playing well right now. Our guys are excited, especially coming off the game Saturday. Irvine has to play a game on uh, Wednesday night at Santa Barbara and then sit around town until Saturday night. So, and, and again, we're not really looking or too worried about what they're doing, but I think it's a great week mm -hmm. for us to really prepare for them. Okay, so talking about when you guys played them last time, I know it's been a while, but uh, you shot uh, about 60% from the field and almost 57 from three. Is it going to take that kind of effort again, um, shooting the ball? Well, you know, you've you got to make baskets um, to give yourself the best chance to win, even though you know we didn't shoot a great percentage uh, Saturday night. But um, it, it's just going to take a combined effort offensively and defensively. It, you know, looking at Irvine, if you look at their scores early on, they win their first game against Santa Barbara, then, then we came in and got one. And then their next two games, I believe, well, they won, so they started two and one. And then their next two games on the road, they lost by two points each. So had they won those games, their season could be a whole lot different. Um, both our teams have, are, have definitely improved and changed, so to speak, uh, since the very first game and now playing them on the very last game. So we just, they've got two very good players, and Michael Hunter and Eric Wise that are, that are leading scorers in the conference um, that we'll have to contend with. And, and they're very well coached, so it'll be a tough game for sure. And speaking of, uh, of Hunter and Wise, um, does it uh, concern you that Combined, they almost scored 50 on you last time, or does it encourage you that you held the rest of their team to about 10, 15 points? Yeah, I, you know, we don't really look at it that way. I mean, I think that game, we gave up 81 points, but we scored 95. You know, Lorenzo had 38, and we were very aggressive in the game offensively. They came out trying to press us, and we always feel like um, we can't give teams free presses, meaning that once you break the press, you just kind of pull it back and then they kind of got a free run at you. We tell our guys, be aggressive, and if it's the right shot for us, let's take it. And we were, and we had a big second half and won that game. And speaking of uh, Keeler, um, do you think they're going to try and key on him, seeing as he scored almost 40 points on them last time? Yeah, and, and he's the third leading scorer in the conference. So um, what he did to them, he's, you know, he had 31 on somebody else as well. Um, he, you know, Lorenzo can score, and I don't think they're going to come out. It's not Coach Douglas' style just to say we've got to stop one guy. I mean, they're a very good team defensive uh, program, mm -hmm. but they're definitely going to be aware of them. There's no question. Okay. Last question for you. Um, how do you see this game affecting you guys as you move into the conference tournament? Is it going to be a springboard for you momentum-wise? Well, we're hoping to build off of what we just did um, on Saturday night. And, and really a culmination of what we've tried to uh, emphasize, you know, all year, just to keep getting better, keep playing as a team, playing for each other, share the ball, make the extra pass. Um, we're getting great contributions from guys that are coming off the bench. You know, David Hansen came in, and he's had a really you know, solid year for us as a reserve and then as a starter. Um, Sean Lewis is playing well. You know, so we're having guys really step up, guys off the bench. And so we're just hoping to continue. And then, you know, everybody's even going into the conference tournament. We'll see what happens there. It's a neutral floor. Thank you. You're welcome.